Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on uh, how to maybe make it easier to start your lawnmower when it's cold. Right now in Laredo, it's about 40, 47 degrees, 50 degrees tops, so it's not that cold. But uh, I had a lot of lot of trouble uh, trying to start my uh, lawnmower. It's uh, carbureted, so I thought maybe heating up the carburetor would help out because that's an old trick that they used to use you don't want to use a uh, fire obviously so the best thing to do is use a light bulb that's the best thing uh, I think the best and safest way it's still gonna be hot so you want to be careful since you're gonna be right up against the carburetor and uh, let me show you where to find your carburetor in case you're, you're unsure and we're gonna do a couple of things actually not just that what you might want to do, what you want to do, find your carburetor. Obviously, this is not going to be it. That's the exhaust. That's the muffler, basically. And you find your carburetor, you want to look for the air filter, which is this piece right here. You can see the foam in there. That foam is basically your air filter. Air filter. So that's basically going to be connected to your carburetor, which is going to be back here. This is a fuel tank. What you want to do, you want to put this light bulb right up, right up against your carburetor like that not right up against but close to it so the radiating heat will uh will go ahead and heat up your carburetor another thing you want to do make sure your spark plug which is located here in the front is nice and clean what you want to do is just pull your plug wire out might be a little tight but it'll clip out two hands for this there you go. Right there. And you might want to clean that also. Now, I do not recommend using an impact for this. I'm just too lazy to go open up my truck, open up my toolbox to take out the three quarter inch wrench. So I'm just gonna do it very, very, very lightly. My Ryobi impact has a couple of settings, one, two, and three. Three being the strongest, so I'm on two right now. Just want to get loose. That's all you want to do. Then you can take it out by hand. All right. What you want to do is you want to make sure it's clean. All right. So this is where the spark happens. I haven't changed, it's been about two years that I, that I have with this lawnmower, but I have a small yard so it doesn't get that much use. What you want to do, you want to take a wire brush and very gently, making sure you don't mess this gap up, to clean it up a little bit, clean, clean some of that carbon off to help that spark. I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of dark in here, I don't have that much of good light. So it's already starting to look a little bit more shiny than what it was. Some of that carbon's falling right off. All right. I had already done this uh, earlier, so I mean it's already pretty clean. I don't want to clean it too much. And now uh, what, you, what we're gonna do? We're gonna put it right back. Want to thread it in by hand as far as you can. Like I said it's better to use a socket and ratchet for this. Not an impact. All right, I'm gonna put in setting one. That's about hand tight right there. We're at setting two and just give it a quick tap. It's about as tight as it needs to be. One of Put your, connect your plug wire back in. You're gonna hear a snap. And that's it. Should be good, that's what helped me, man. I, I had tried to uh, start it about 20, 30 pulls, and I wasn't even getting close, not even a light start. It's been about an hour since it's, uh, it's been off. 
about an hour. So it's already cooled off quite a bit. Let's see if it'll start or not. And there you go. That's uh, That helps out a lot. As after I did that, it started up no problem. I didn't even have to prime it. Another thing you might want to do after it starts, give it a good while to warm up. You don't want to just start using it right away. And I uh, just hope it helps. Thanks.